Thanks. Good morning, everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you about creating the favorites as a folder. You have to teach the end users or key user who are going to interact with you during the project. And you have to tell them how to create the multiple folders and as per their regular work. Let's take an example. If you see our SAP Easy Access, here you will see that two options. One is SAP menu, other one is favorites. If you see SAP menu, the SAP all standard transaction codes are available. For example, in favorites, you can add a different folders. Put the cursor on favorites and right click and uh, select insert folder. In this insert folder, for example, you wanted to tell him what are the activities for a purchase order, or else you want to tell them like purchasing team. What are the transactions they wanted to handle generally? Let's take purchasing team. Okay. So generally, what kind of transaction they can use it? Purchasing team, inset transaction, ME5A, list of purchase requisitions, Inset transaction, ME21N, let's take ME41, request for quotation. ME42, maintain quotation. ME47, Quotation comparison, ME49, ME21N, PO creation, ME22N, change. The same thing can be used for display also, okay. ME23N. So let's take, these are the transactions. He generally use it. We can take one more report, ME2N. If you want to drag anything uh, here and there, right? You can drag it like this, okay. ME5A. First you wanted to have, or you wanted to have like this. Okay. Anything, if you want to move it here and there, you can put and then move it. Like that you can move. So this is the way how you can uh, teach users so purchasing team, for example, if somebody is in um, inventory, how they can do it or else all important reports, they want to keep it like important reports. Insert folder, maybe inventory reports. So what kind of inventory reports they are regularly used? You can see MB52. MB Keep the cursor on the folder so that it will come onto that. MB51. Maybe MMB. Okay. So these kind of all folders they can create. So they don't have to run for the transactions and they know that what are the regular activities and purchase order, purchase requisition like that also. You can teach them how to create the subfolders. For example, under purchasing team, they wanted to have one more folder. Okay. They can create one more folder. It's mainly for PO approval. Let's take an example. So under PO approval, they can keep the transaction. ME 28 or 29 and whatever transaction they are going to use it. So within the folder. So this kind of folder management also, we have to teach to that users, the key users, so that they will teach end users. They can keep the regular transactions. Okay, every day when I come, I check that open purchase requisitions and any quotations required, then only I create the quotation or else I will just um, directly create the PO. So like that they can create their regular activities and even they can create multiple folders for the multiple activities and all. Like I just shown, you can drag, select it and put your mouse and you can drag wherever you want to keep any sequence kind of a thing if you want to teach them. 
i hope uh, this video has helped you to understand how to teach the users uh, about the folder management and their favorites that will be helpful for them to do their regular activities and it will be uh, useful for not only for users even for the key users also when you are using that one as a consultant also the regular transactions what you are using you can create a folder and um, quickly you can access it if you don't remember because we don't have to buy hard the transaction codes as an sap consultant or even as an user just by practicing every day those will be remembered and this kind of folder management will be helpful for you to manage your regular transactions and without spending time for uh, remembering or searching again okay those kind of uh, things can be avoided which will save time and the same folder management will be helpful for if any new joiners are joined you can teach them easily so they also can proceed with the same plan i hope this video will be helpful for you during your projects whether it is a implementation or support if you like the video hit the like button and uh, keep sharing our videos with your sap circle thanks again